What is up, YouTube? It is me, Crazy White Boy 0605, also known as Oak Blur. You can just call me Blur. And guys, I am doing something that I have not done in a while, and I just wish that I should do it more. So, um, I might actually do it more. But what I'm going to do is read a Bible verse out of the Bible for you guys and just preach and just tell you guys what God has done for me in my life. So, first of all, I'm going to read a story in the Bible, and then I'm going to tell you what, I, what God's done for me in my life. Um... It may not look like that I'm a Christian, and I don't listen, I mean, I do listen to Christian music, let's put it that way. Um, I love God, and I may not look like it, but not many people look like they love God, but in reality, deep in their heart, they do. Um, but here we go. This is Genesis chapter 1. Um, I've read Genesis many times, but I'm not going to like read from the beginning of the Bible. I mean, I want to do that for you guys, but I'm going to just do Bible verse to verse, like random verses that I want to read to you guys. Um, so... Yeah, by the way, the song in the background is that I'm about to play is Chris Tomlin. That's the artist, and the name of the song is Our God. But anyway, okay, here we go. This is Ch Genesis chapter 1, and I'm going to read verse 1 through um, 10. Yeah. No, 1 through 12. Yeah, let's put it that way. 1 through 12. Here we go. Wait. Okay. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was... A formless and empty darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was ho hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light. There was light. God saw that light was good, and He separated the light from the darkness. God called light the day, and the darkness He called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. Verse 6. And God said, let there be an example between the waters to separate water from water. So God made the expense and separated the water under the expense from the water above it. And it was so. Chapter verse 8. God called the, ex the expense sky, and there was evening, and there was morning. The second day. And God, um, verse 9. And God said, let there be water under the sky, be gathered to one place, and let dry ground appear. And it was so. God called dry ground land and gathered the waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Verse 11. Then God said, Let the land produce vegetation, seed bearing plants and trees on the land that bear fruit with seeds in it, according to their various kinds. And it was so. Verse 12. The land pronounced vegetation, plants bearing seeds according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruit with seed in accordance to their kinds. And God saw it was good. Um, that was Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 through 13, I mean 12. Um, I just want to say that God has done so much for me in my life. Like, I am like blessed. Like, I have a great family, I have great friends. I got a great church. Um, what else? I have great friends. I got everything I need. Uh, I don't want anybody to just look down and say, my life sucks and your life sucks. I don't want you guys to think that. I want you guys just to believe. Just think strong, man. God is out there, man. He's coming back. I'm telling you that, man. No, he's coming back soon. So, um, yeah, I'm on fire for God, and that's just me. Um, yeah, uh, but like I said, God has done so much for me. I mean, I'm just blessed, like I said. Um, I just thank Him every single day for what He's done for me. And it's just, I love God. I love this guy. I love God to death. And I'm telling you, I'm ready for Jesus to come back, man. I just can't wait, man. I just mean, the world is falling apart. Earthquakes, tornadoes, storms, uh, droughts. Uh, forest fires, everything. It's because he's coming. That's a sign that God's coming back soon. And guys, I just want to tell you that I'm praying for you guys. I'm praying for the people that don't believe. I'm praying, man. I'm praying for you guys. Um, I just, I don't know. I just want to say that, and that's what I feel in the bottom of my heart. Um, my next video will probably be another Bible story. Um, I'm actually probably start doing these more so I can just tell you guys about God's Word and preach. Um, I'm also going to do some more Call of Duty gaming. But, uh, yeah. 
But I just want you guys just to follow his footsteps. And if you guys need a prayer request, comment in the bottom and I'll pray for you guys. I can pray for you guys right now on, on camera. But uh, here we go. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for everybody out here. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Thank you for everybody that just cares so much about you, God. And then thank you for helping me with everything. I just pray for anybody else that needs you in their life. I pray for them. Pray for you, man. Jesus, please pray. Come into my life more. I want to spread your word more. I love you, Jesus. I'm ready for you to come back. Um, I also want to pray for everybody out there that needs you in their life. Go into the life. They're there. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, guys, that was it. Um, until my next video, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace. Rate, comment, subscribe. And if you, need to, if you want me to pray for you, comment below. See you guys later. Have a blessed night.